Hey, I'm C Dinky. Today we have just received some more news from the Grounded livestream that was on Twitch where Arik did a Q&A when he was answering people's burning questions about 1.4 and I have a massive list of things I need to talk to you guys about. So starting off, they are changing how gold cards are going to work in Grounded 1.4. Previously in 1.3, you're going to need all the gold cards in order to get 100% of the game. That has now been scrapped and you do not need gold cards to get 100% anymore. So all of you diehard fans that didn't want to grind the gold cards, you can now get 100% a lot more easier. Arik has also said they haven't even shown any of the tier 4 weapons coming into Grounded 1.4, so all of the weapons we have already been shown, they are only going to be tier 3, so nothing is tier 4 yet. I feel like I've been bamboozled a bit because I definitely thought that the new weapons were going to be tier 4, but clearly not. They Not even the Milk Molar Sword people were thinking about, or the Mint Sword was going to be tier 4. So, <laughs> I don't know what they have up their sleeve, but I'm really excited for it. Speaking of tier 4, I also asked Arik the question if there was going to be any tier tier 4 armor coming into Grand of 1.4 and Arik said there's going to be an armor set with one of the ant queens but quickly stopped himself as he didn't want to leak the information so I'm going to think that the strategist armor set or the fire ant queens armor set from the cut content is going to be a tier 4 piece of armor I guess we will have to wait and see and as we all thought every single time we go into a higher new game plus the enemies and creatures are going to be a lot more tougher so for example in new game plus one the creatures are going to have the base increased HP increased move speed and increased damage with one random modifier and for new game plus two it's going to be the exact same but with two random modifiers new game plus three is going to have three random modifiers all the way up to i'm not sure new game plus 10 possibly so i'm not excited to fight a wasp drone with 10 random modifiers it has also been confirmed there is going to be no new creatures or anything added into grand 1.4 besides the ant queens and their respective pets Eric has said that they're going to add nothing so if you're hoping for the lizard boss that boy's not coming if you're hoping for anything else coming to grand 1.4 that's not coming we're just getting the ant queens and the ant queens respective pets there is also going to be no building pieces in introduced into Grand 1.4, we are only going to be seeing vanity or decoration items such as the new rugs coming into Grand 1.4 and the Toma organ and a bunch of the new Ant Queen furniture items that we haven't seen yet. So that means there is going to be no mushroom floors, so all the people in my comments saying they wish they added mushroom floors, that is not coming into Grand 1.4 unfortunately, I guess we are going to have to stick with the stem wooden floors. There also may be the possibility that we are only going to find one new random candy in every single new game plus, it is a random chance for us to get the different alternate realities as Eric has stated. With the Spicotopes, he said that we're going to have to find the Spicotope universe for some reason. So meaning we're probably only going to find the Spicotope candies in a singular run of New Game Plus, meaning we're going to have to do a bunch of New Game Plus playthroughs to find all the new elemental candies added into the game. It has also been confirmed every single time you go into a New Game Plus, everything in the world is going to be reset besides of course your buildings, your weapons, mutations, and what you have built and whatnot. So the Leaning Shovel, the Haze Canister, and possibly the Broiling Boy Bin are all going to be reset. I'm going to think of all, all explodable rocks in the game. I'm not too sure if it's going to reset a bunch of the quartzite and marble shards around the world. I guess we'll have to wait and see. And now finally, the big major question that I asked Arik was if there are going to be new boss musics in the game, because we know the Mantis and the Wasp Queen have the exact same boss music and the exact same with the Assistant Manager and Director Schmechter. So I asked him if there is going to be a new Wasp Queen or Director Schmechter boss theme music to make the boss fight a little bit more different. And he said no. So there is going to be no more boss music added into Grand 1.4. It's a bit of a shame. I kind of wanted to have the Wasp Queen or even Director to Schmecter, a new boss theme considering Director Schmecter is like this big bad boss and he just gets the assistant manager boss fight theme. There's also a bunch of other miscellaneous things that Eric has answered but I don't think you guys really care about if the Nintendo Switch's touchscreen is able to be fully implemented into Granite or whatnot. So this is going to be the end of today's video. It's not going to be a very long one either so if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe or even comment down below your feelings for Granite 1.4 and I'll catch you guys in the next video.